Hello, Tuvis Travelers, and welcome back to the Best Criminal Channel here on YouTube. Back today with our Tranmere Rovers Road to Glory. Ladies and gentlemen, we've played a few games off camera, and here today we kick off against Wrexham in the FA Cup. A bit of exciting news, ladies and gentlemen. If we go to our Youth Academy, we have a few incredible looking superstars coming through the ranks we have uh, i mean he's 47 overall but 72 to 96 potential for the center back slash right back italian we have a six foot uh english cam 74 to 94 potential as well falconer ed falconer 64 to 82 but not all of them have to be like 94 potential some of them can be a little bit lower but i like the look of him regardless as good sprint speed acceleration already uh we also have edward six foot two winger who looks very very good and then another striker as well so i'm going to give them all a development plan so hopefully they progress i might even call some of them up we've called up another center back already 59 overall so maybe we call up some of these as well we have a bit of an injury problem which we're going to get into kusej I, I like this kusej guy right he's 23 years of age from the czech republic his stamina though i don't understand he has 70 stamina but every time i look at him every time he plays a match he's out of stamina again he can't keep his fitness up to save the world. So maybe we call up one of those young strikers to see how they're doing. Uh, we could go Saunders in the middle now. He's 5'11", but he has the sprint speed. We won't only be crossing into him, but he can get in behind. Uh, Dennis has 64 heading accuracy. I'm going to go Norris. We're going to go Norris up top. See how he does. We'll go Lewis and Cammy has a bit of experience to him. I'm going to go for Apta. No, I'm going to go Saunders on the left, Apta on the right. Uh, the new centre-back that we called up is... Uh, oh, yeah, so we have two injuries right now. Yarni and Martinez, two defenders are injured as well, which is my exact point of we might need to call up some players to help us out a little bit. Marino is the centre-back we called up. Uh, six foot two, ladies and gentlemen, from Italy. Looking very good, controlled, lengthy for a centre-back. You know what? We'll give him the game here. Today, we'll give him the game. Instead of Davis, the captain, Marino, and now he's not going to be captain. We'll give Turnbull the captain. Actually, no, we're, we're going to give Norris the captain up top and tell him to play like a target man and see how we go. We're not playing wing play anymore either. We are now playing uh, Tiki Taka because I feel like it suits the team a little bit better. Sleeves rolled up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rinskid YouTube channel. Today is an arcade day, and this video is sponsored by Regents Pro wrestling ladies and gentlemen the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment the most action-packed immersive and entertaining show on all of youtube if you become a youtube member you can get your own contract in regents pro wrestling live every monday and friday right here on this youtube channel ladies and gentlemen give it two seconds and you will fall in love that's all i'm here to say go watch rpw live every monday and friday you will love it This is who we are. Frenton Park FA Cup Day. We're against the team in our league as well. So we have a bit of experience against the Wrexham boys. I believe we played them last episode, the episode before. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a win. I would love to get a win in the FA Cup. We have the FA Cup scoreboard, of course. We have all the scoreboards now. Would love to get a win. Advance in the FA Cup. It would be very, very nice indeed. As Walker goes up to the left-hand side, Wood goes one more. To Saunders. Again, he has the speed to get him behind referee. Surely there was a foul in there. There was indeed. Free kick is given. Gets the cross in. From post, Lewis is there. Oh, I thought he scored. Oh, I thought he scored. Lovely free kick. Good header from post. Just goes wide. Good chance, though. Right back on them from the goal kick. Or it should be using his strength. Can't hold on to it, though. Nice attack there by Saunders, who can also keep it in. Go down the wing, they intercept it, we get a throw. Saunders in, Norris can make a run. Lovely turn from Norris, long shot. Going to pull that one wide, but again, another nice chance. You can see the gaffer pushing the team on, telling him, fair play, we're getting chances, good start here. We haven't had a start like this in a while, where we've been dominating. Oh, why have I spoken? As Mullen tries to break in behind. We force him back, though. We force him back, turn, ball. Lovely stuff, and hoof it out as well, right inside, into Mullen again. He's a danger man for Wrexham. But we're trying to keep him quiet here today. Right back pushing up into some space here. Is O'Connor, one of our better players. Pushing down, but we need Norris in the box. He's entering the box late. If we can get the ball into him. Oh, it wasn't a bad looking cross there. Really wasn't bad. Hendry takes it up towards 
This left-hand side. Oh, it's going to lose out, though. Need Norris in that box to cross into, man. We're playing Tiki Taka now, so I want some nice passing from the team. That's exactly what we're getting. As Saunders are oh, way too far. Way too far. I'm excited about these Youth Academy prospects that we're bringing up. I think some youth in the team could be nice. Again, it's our own Youth Academy staff as well. We're a bit of a financial injection. We've got a five-star, five-star scout out in uh, Germany, I believe, or somewhere looking for players now as well. So hopefully that will help shape the team for the future. The uh, board of directors gave us some money to get a nice scout, which should really help this team hopefully push for promotion. Saunders finally showing some of that 90 sprint speed that he's got. All goes in. Target. Never really challenging though. Halftime nil nil. I wish we had Kusens to bring off the bench, but he's always knackered, like I said. So we can't really use him right now, which is a shame because, again, I thought he was going to be one of our main goal scorers. But hopefully Norris can do a job this second half. All down the left now for Wrexham. Youth Academy centre back comes over. Can't get the tackle off. Eventually he does, though. Marino. Great challenge. Can I get another one? Oh, a lovely interception. Marino. He was like, what, 18, I think, and we called him up? He's looking good, though. As Apta is not. Saunders, space down the left here. Norris getting a box. It goes Wood, ball in. Not making it back post. Jones, ball into the middle. For Mullen. Marino is the last defender left. Little trip there, maybe. Wood gets back as well. Great defending again. We're looking more solid today than we were last episode at the back. We was very leaky at the back. Last episode in recent episodes. Conceding a lot of goals. But we're looking a bit solid here today. I don't want to jinx it by saying that at all. But so far, so good. We just need a goal, though. 20 minutes to play. We haven't really got too many crossing to Norris. Maybe we move Saunders up top. Go for a pacey striker. Might be the way. We'll bring Hawks on the left. Go for a fast striker. Instead of a tall one. See if we work better this way. Some teams are better with a small striker. Some are better with a tall. Good block from the defender. And Davis keeps it on into Lee. McLean now in the box. He missed a goal kick. Goal kick. Good defending again. We'll bring Morris on in the middle. Up to a lovely turn. Beautiful turn. I don't think he has the sprint speed to keep going. He does. Just a little bit. They're catching up to him. Those Saunders touch and shot. Was way too slow. Come on, Tranmere. Come on, Tranmere. Ball up to the right. O'Connor pushing in. Ball goes in back post. No. Edge of the box, headed down. Touch and shot. Oh, good strike. Good save. Nil-nil. We're going to need a replay in the FA Cup. Not a bad effort from the team. We had chances. We just can't score. Oh, I accidentally clicked play highlights. I thought going right, right was team management. I forgot it's tried. It's not been that for ages now. Can I... Oh, I'm just going to sim to end. Home against MK Dons. It ends nil-nil. What a waste. What a waste. We're going to bring up two players. Um, We're going to bring up... Ed Falkner. I know he doesn't have the potential, but I like the look of him. We're going to bring up... Oh, we're going to bring up three players, actually. All three of them. Oh, he's only 15. They, oh, the cam. Uh, Greaves. He can play. You know, we'll bring him up. We'll bring him up. And we'll keep these two down for now. I like using some youth. Second leg against Wrexham. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Edwards on the left. Ed Falconer up top. And Greaves in cam. Three. Of our youth academy players for the second leg against Wrexham. We're testing out the youth to see if they can hang with the big boys. Sky Sports, we need a goal. Please and thank you. Instantly down this left hand side. Edwards with his first touch in a Tranmere Rovers kit. Ed Falconer, of course, making his debut as well. A few of the youngsters. I'm excited to see what they've got about them. Greaves is one as well. As he goes up for the first shot of the game, it is blocked. We should probably see what foot they are, actually. Uh, Falconer left, left, and right. Okay. Who knows? We thought Kusej is going to be our main man this season. We brought him in off the free agents, of course. We're giving him a lot of wages compared to the rest of our team. But he's always tired. Who knows? Maybe some of these youth prospects are going to come in. And they're going to be the main superstars of this team for years to come. It could happen. They might be flops. They might be incredible. Greaves. Edwards. It's a little trio triangle as well. They're all working together. It's all their first game, so they're all trying to impress, of course. Edwards on his left foot. Oh, ready with a shot on target. And already I'm liking these youngsters. 
Marino also looks solid last game as well. Here he is again, man by Marino with the interception. Maybe the Youth Academy players are the way to go. Edwards, I don't know why he's playing centre mid. We, sh we should probably tell him to stick out to the left wing. Well, I think we're telling him to cut in because he's right-footed. But he's got to make sure he knows where to stay in position. He's young, of course. Bunch of 18, 19-year-olds. Nice cross in. Keeper is there, though. Good to see the CPU cross, of course. Edwards again there. Right back pushed up. Let's see some of the speed of Edwards. Tries to find Greaves in the middle. Risky pass. Marlin. Oh, nice touch. Turnbull not quick enough. Wrexham have a player in the box. If they can find him, Turnbull's there. Corner given. Well, at least Marlin is not in the box for Wrexham. He's down on the right-hand side for some reason. Whereas he's normally like their main goal scorer. Marino again. Great defending. Oh, through ball. Lovely. Dalby. Oh, what a shot. Right on half time. What a, what a shot, pardon me. Controller's disconnected here. Great goal. Great through ball. And a great finish. I mean, you can't really complain. When you can see the goal like that right on half time as well. Not what we wanted, but fantastic finish. Want to trust these youngsters a little while more. See. Oh my god, if my controller doesn't want to disconnect. Right outside they go again. Cannon up to Bolton Turnbull. Luckily missed the attacker there. Still attacking though. Turnbull is there. Keeps it on as well. Edwards can push down this left hand side. He's got the speed to go. Not really. Let's slow it down a little bit. To Edwards. Ref. Surely taking him down then. Greaves wins it back nicely. Looking for someone. Edwards touching shot. No. Great tackle, Norris. Incredible tackle, but we have to hold on to it when we win the ball back. That's our main issue as well. We win the ball back and we instantly give it away. That's a nice pass. Greaves into Ed Falconer, who's been really quiet in his debut with the striker. Been really, really quiet. Is Kusej on the bench? I know he might be a bit tired. No, he's not. We'll go with, we'll go with Dennis. We had Norris last game. And now, you know what? I, I want to trust Ed Falconer. I want to trust him to get a late goal here. Oh, bad dummy. Edwards, you've got to be on that. Well done. Well done. Falconer's in the box. He cuts it back. To Hendry. No, Falconer open goal. He's offside. Oh, he's offside. It would have been his first goal in his debut. But Cesc Fabregas calls him offside. Unlucky. Down to Saunders off the bench. Looking for... Oh, some space again. Giving it away in a dangerous area. Stupid. Don't let him go past you, Norris. Beautiful tackle from number 2-6. Let's go, Saunders. Use that speed. Oh, he knocks it on too much, though, Denny. He always does that. Knocks it on way too much. He can't keep up with himself, it's almost like. Five minutes to go. Now or never. Oh, Falknor. Right, late on. Let's make a sub. Jeffrey Bull Marino is there again. He can't win it, though. Board goes up. Four at a time. Oh, how's that foul? He's jumping over the back of him. Oh, he's called full time. He's called full time. He's called full time. Ah, which means Wrexham are going to be going through. And Tranmere Rovers crash out of the FA Cup early doors. Not what we wanted. Dalby gets the goal. It was one finish, one goal. That changed the game and changed the tie. All we have to focus on now is the league. Uh, we are currently ninth in the league. Again, Kusej still... You know what? Kusej is tied, but we're going to play him still. We're going to play him. Because him being tied every single game is just... It is, it's ridiculous. Is what it is. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, you know what? He's going to play regardless. Uh, we're going to go... Greaves... But no, we're going to go Doyle like Cam. We'll keep the new youngsters on the bench. And see how that goes away from him against Forrest Green. Winning the league is needed. To continue our push towards the playoff spots, ladies and gentlemen. Three points crucial here today. Let's change the scoreboard, I forgot. There we go. I forget I have to change it every match, but it literally takes two seconds now, which is beautiful. I don't have to reload the game or anything. Forest Green away from home. Wood, fantastic tackle. Keep it on as well, which we do. Hawks can now push down this left-hand side. If he's got some speed about him. Goes into the middle to Kusej. One more. For Doyle, edge of the box, goes for goal. Good save, Daniels. Good start, though, again. That's what we want. Make sure we're having chances on goal. Quick one. Oh, the header nowhere near, really. It looked better than it actually was. Hawks, nice turn. Someone scored elsewhere. We don't care about them. I'm going to focus on Tranmere here. And getting three points. Oh, nice interception, Doyle. Kusej. But again, we're looking for more from him in this team. Ball out to the left-hand side. Back into Kusej. Hendry. 
Doyle, we're trying to find that oh, crucial spot to break through. Can't get past the forest green defense right now. Ball down the right. Oh, lovely pass on the right side. Half an hour gone. Robson down the wing. He's waiting for someone to be in the box. Luckily, the defender's on him. He finally gets the cross in. We can get the header back out, though. Nice flick to Doyle. Now, Doyle and Kusa, like we say, they are pretty tired in this one, but they're still going to give it their all for this League 2 match. Kusaj going, 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 and tackled. Did we waste money on Kusaj, a free agent? Are we paying him wages when we shouldn't be? He's either too tired or when he does play, he's just not the needle chain, not the needle mover, you know, not the game change that we thought he would be. Bringing him off the free agent list. Maybe there was other options out there. Oh, referee gives a foul. Oh, we're dangerous pass. Let's not be passing across our box, please. That's rule number one when you're a defender. Very dangerous, but it works. Morris into Kusej. Nice passing. O'Connor trying to switch the play. Over to the left. I said, oh my god, that was such... Literally tapped that and he bloody iron head. It bounced off him. Strong touch down the left-hand side. Surely often it is. Half-time's approaching, though. No goals this episode for Tranmere Rovers so far, which is not what we want. Doyle's knackered. We're going to bring on Falknor and Greaves again. We're going to move Hawks over there. We're going to bring on Edwards. All three of them. The three youngsters. They're all coming in against second half. I believe in these three from our youth academy. I really, really do. So we'll see what they can do in the second half of the match. I love Greaves. He has like a little mullet, mate. He looks awesome. Just a 1-0. Just a 1-0 -er to get three points. It's all I want, man. 1-0 -er for Tranmere Rovers, that is. 1-0 -er for Tranmere Rovers, that is. McGee, good save. Overlap down the right-hand side. O'Connor. He's not getting past anyone realistically there. Looking for someone. Looking for a long shot, maybe. Shot on target. Edwards trying to sneak one in from distance. Trying to score his first goal in a magnificent fashion. Good save by the keeper, though. So that's the problem. We're struggling to break down the defense. So we're settling for long shots as opposed to... Nice football. Oh, Hendry. Great tackle. If you can hold on to it. Greaves, one more. To Ed Falconer. On his weak foot. Oh, Daniels. Good save. Good save. Unlucky by the striker. We get a corner. It's taken by Hendry. Goes nowhere, though. Can we get it back up to Hendry? Oh, why is he standing offside for? Walker, great tackle. Holds onto it as well, which is crucial. Oh, good. Good slide. Good slide. Forest being, uh, Green being good, to be fair. Both teams just cancelling each other out right now. You know? Now the team can break through the opposition's defence. They're both just cancelling each other out. Bad kick by the keeper. We're pressing them nicely. Maybe we should play Gagan. Oh, we don't have the stamina for Gagan press, though. This team does not have the stamina. Hawks, ball up. Two Greaves, one more. For Edwards, touch and shot. He doesn't shoot. Why would he not get the shot off? That was the chance. It's coming down to it. Greaves through to Edwards. Doesn't have enough on it. No, last 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes. Edwards again going. Greaves, Falknor. Up to Edwards. One more for Falknor. Greaves, edge of the box. Oh, it's got to be Mr. Mullet. Corner given. Try to get it a bit deeper. We're going to the front post. There we go. Right in the middle. No, he's too tall, that defender. He's massive, mate. Greaves. Edwards. Oh, he tries to break through. Unlucky. See, I'm liking these youngsters, man. Just got to get a goal, though. Get it in, though. Full time. Nil, nil. Struggled. Really struggled to score this episode. And that's where we're going to leave it. We've got some interesting youngsters, though, coming in. Some interesting, exciting youngsters coming in. Just need to start scoring now. We're, we're, we're not conceding as many today. But we're not scoring either. We're four points off the playoff spots right now. So a couple of wins and we'll be right in there. Um, for potential promotion into League 2. So I'll catch you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, much of as always, take care and peace. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Whee! Yeah. Easy to see the truth. I never want this to burn off. I never want us.